Hello guys, I just wanted to make a quick video today for, uh, because I wanted to talk about the, I wanted to talk about the, the Christmas specials on the, on the Annie Dome block, the Animation Domination Fox block. Uh, while I don't have any information on the actual episodes from, from the actual shows, because I know the Simpsons and Bob's Burgers are definitely having Christmas episodes, um, uh, confirmed by, well, Bob's Burgers I got it from the table read, and, uh, Simpsons, uh, S Simpsons from Al John, and I think Bless the Hearts is having a Christmas episode too, because they have a 22 episode order like Simpsons and Bob's. But I know Family Guy isn't having one because their season is only 20 episodes. But, and because also, uh, Fox also ordered a stop motion holiday special from the Robot Chicken producers, according to the, according to the TCA in January. I know that this is a really old article, but I've never seen anyone mention this, so, you know, I want to be the first one and stuff like that. And so as part of... As part of its continued push into animation, Fox has ordered a stop-motion holiday special from Stupid Buddy Studios, the Emmy-winning studio founded by Seth Green, John Harvatine the IV, uh, Matt Sinnerich, and Eric Towner. This special was announced at the TCA in January in Pasadena. This was before coronavirus. Uh, this will be written by Emmy winner Tom Root. Tom Root uh, co-created Crossing Swords, and he's also on Robot Chicken. Both of which are shows I do I despise. Uh, I do not like either of those shows. What is described as the irreverent special will premiere in the on the Christmas in the winter as part of it uh, as part of Fox's not so silent nights holiday theme programming. Per the official long line, the Bracero action-packed hour of holiday insanity will feature classic holiday icons like Santa, the Easter Bunny. Who will come together with brand new minor mascots from Thanksgiving, Valentine's, St. Patrick's, and even Daylight Saving Day. I truly love this project and we couldn't have asked for a better partner than Fox since they've been consistently a leader in high quality, provocative, and subversive entertainment, noted Seth Green. We are very excited to make what we intend to both be a nostalgic and modern holiday classic. The special will be produced by Stupid Buddy and Fox. John Harventine, the fourth, directs and executive producers of Green, Root, Seinrich, and Towner. Fox has had a long, valued history with Seth as an actor due to his large, largely to his fantastic voice work as Chris Griffin on Family Guy. But Seth Green and his partners at, at Stupid Buddy have created best-in-class stop-motion animation as well, and we couldn't be more thrilled to grow this relationship, said the president of Fox, Michael Thorne. It also builds on our commitment to create holiday programming, and with Seth Green in in a understanding of our company's irreverent brand, we're looking to forward to that seasonal special that could simply put could only air on Fox. As kids, we look forward to holiday programming all year, added Tom Root. Our goal is to give grown-ups like us, fans of Fox Animation Domination shows with six senses of humor, a holiday programming worth watching after the kids are in bed. Stupid Buddy Series is behind Crossing Swords, which uh, already premiered, and I reviewed it, and I thought it was very very bad so overall i am not particularly excited for this i know a uh, family guy's not having a christmas special this year and i'm actually kind of happy for that because the last one they had was pretty it was pretty and eh. i thought it's more leaning towards the garbage side though it, it was the one where meg tries to sit on the santa's lap which is pretty weird i i mean i thought it was weird eh, but i didn't think it was good but i feel like with this this special, I mean, the the people at Stupid Buddy uh, make Crossing Swords and Robot Chicken, and both of them are yes, they're stop motion, and and both of them are definitely well animated. I will give you that. But their writing is just ugh, like I just can't stand the writing. It's just all shock humor after shock humor. Like Crossing Swords was just okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Pa Patrick saves the day. Oh, something bad happens to him. Like. Yeah, I'm going to predict this is basically going to be pretty much the same thing. You're going to have a protagonist, you're going to have a protagonist with the Christmas special, and then he's going to, the, they're probably going to do something because it says going back to holidays, so there's probably going to be a rehash of Charles Dickens, uh, Charles Dickens, uh, A Christmas Carol, where, where they go back in time with the three ghosts, or, or like, or like instead, they'll go to different types of holidays and meet, and like the protagonist will meet different types of holiday mascots. So I feel like, in my opinion, this is definitely not going to be good. I just think it's going to be garbage, uh, because these shows tend to rely on a lot of shock humor, which I'm not, which, like, 
I mean, yeah, sure, we have shows like Rick and Morty, which rely on a lot, but Rick and Morty also has a lot of smart jokes as well. Well, shows like, I mean, I'm sure, I, I haven't seen that much of Robot Chicken, but from what I've seen, I, I don't like it at all. I mean, I'm pretty sure, maybe it has smart jokes, but I know it's a sketch comedy, so maybe it has some smart jokes that I maybe miss, but, and then the Carson Source is definitely garbage. Like, ugh. I, maybe I should stop talking about this now. But, yeah, I don't think this is going to be good. I think I, I'll, I will definitely review this when it comes out, of course, as part of, as part of my proposed plan to do weekly reviews on the, on the Fox block. But, overall, overall, eh, I'm not excited for I will watch it, but I'm not excited for this. It just sounds like it's just going to be your over-the-top mill shock humor show that we don't need. I mean, adult animation has been evolving. Overall, and I mean, y yes, we have, I mean, I, I would say, like, even the most generic shows, like, Close Enough and Duncanville, at least, I can, I, well, I mean, I love Close Enough because it's super funny, and I think Duncanville is at least okay, because, I mean, at least, I mean, Duncanville doesn't really have a lot, like, excessive shock humor. I think Duncanville does. I think they do need to tone it down on the shock humor, though, but I, I, at least with Duncanville has solid characters except for Duncan that he sucks. I mean everyone else in the family is at least fine. Like with Crossing Swords and Robot like Crossing Swords I pretty much hated all almost all the characters. Patrick was eh but he was still pretty bad as a protagonist because he didn't really have any development. His friend his friend the comic relief guy was the only funny one. Everyone else was just ugh, garbage. So yeah, definitely not excited for this special. But anyways I wanna know what you think of this special. This upcoming special, of course, it hasn't aired yet. Uh, it's scheduled for December. I think they're going to air on the 13th. I, uh, well, the day Al John uh, confirms the date for the Christmas episode will be the day that this special airs. So, anyways, I want to know what you thought or, or, or what you think about this upcoming holiday special. And I'll see you guys next time.